yeah. It's about that time we back. We are back, man. We are back up. Man. It's, it's been a day already. It's been a day. It's been yes. a day. Uh, you want to get into it, brother? Um, you you could definitely get into it here. Yeah. We we got something that we definitely wanted to to discuss here. You know, um, the you know, it's what? about Selena. Yeah, Selena. You know? So basically, let me get to it right now. I, I think I lost it up with people, but no, but, it's okay. Uh, oh, go ahead. And, and I think that it's something that should be talked about because Selena was such an important musician yeah. of our time. Um, of course. All of you know her life was cut short at the age of 23, unfortunately, uh, from her her president of her fan club. Um, I believe her y- name was y- Yolanda. Yolanda Saldivar. Saldivar. Yeah. And I know there's a documentary coming soon from Oxygen, uh, which is going to be hitting, you know, the airwaves soon. But we just, you know, pretty much found here that Yolanda is going to be getting out soon. Yeah, so basically, uh, it's called uh, the documentary on oxygen premieres really soon. It's a two-part series called Yolanda and excuse me, Selena and Yolanda. Selena and Yolanda. And basically, it's um, talking about the thirty-year secrets between them two, off of the um, the POV of Yolanda and their relationship. And the family hmm. is upset because I'm sure they feel like she should not even have a voice to be speaking on anything after she murdered you know their their daughter you know that the whole hispanic community and the world loves selena uh, a wonderful beautiful talent in person uh but now yolanda is telling her side of the story and how are we going to how people are going to feel about that mm. keep in mind she unsuccessfully was denied her release right her appeal yes and now she's up for release next year how crazy is that that that's crazy um I know it's well, probably been about too. it's been probably twenty plus years since she's been in jail. I want to say thirty years. Thirty years. Yeah. Wow. Thirty years. So put it into a conversation like, okay, I messed up. This is why I was doing what I was doing. I'm sorry. Because it wasn't like they, you know, they just all of a sudden didn't say anything to her. And then, pow, you know, this happens. There were events leading up sure. to this. So it's like she had her opportunity to me. To I walk mean, away? To, to either walk away or discuss okay. with the family. Like, hey, this is why I did what I did. I made a mistake. Oh, I'm sorry. I love your family. I love Selena. Let's make amends. So I got and based off of the movie, which is a great movie that Jennifer Lopez made. Oh, absolutely! They, I love they, that movie. They, the only part I don't like about it is the very end. It's like they kind of flash by the whole shooting, cops at the hotel, really quick. Like it was like a minute, yeah. and it went away. They didn't really dive into like the incident, and I think it's because there still were things that they didn't really know, right? right? Because she's denying and saying like, I didn't intentionally kill her. The gun kind of went off and, and that's been a situation. And they didn't want to be the ones held like accountable for putting something out on camera. That was false. Exactly. But after all these years, she has finally admitted that yes, I, I killed her, but not intentionally. Right. It's does the public believe this. I mean, why you got the gun anyway? What, what is Selena going to do? What do you have the gun for? And it, it doesn't make any sense, right? But another question to this You're is... You're the president bro, of the fan club. She's not a tenderoni, bro. She's a very elderly lady. If she was released into society, what would happen? It's not like she would just go into this world and be loved. She's, she's going to be the person known that killed Selena. And what's going to be the life on the outside? For me, it'd be better to stay in there. Because society is not going to you know, accept you. It, it, they're not going to accept you. If she was let out of jail, how bad would it be? I would think she would have to move out of the country. And even if she does, she definitely can. So? Yeah. I mean, she or, old or she, lady, or she would she have th- to live in like a little small town that people don't really go to. I just I don't know. And if she moves out of the country, she surely cannot go to Mexico. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. She I'm can't go saying. to Mexico. She cannot. Uh, don't she definitely can't go to corporates. No. Can't see, see your kid, your family, no. and none of that. I mean, she she can go to like I don't know uh, Switzerland or something like that. But those are the two countries I just look at as yeah, man. Yeah, because I mean, Selena was okay before she was loved here in the states. She was loved obviously in her country, which sure. you know she's she's Mexican. So I mean, I look at it as if she were to come out like. 
people that really love Selena will get wind of where she is, and I don't want to. So I don't want to say like a something would happen or someone would do something, but it wouldn't be. It's not a safe situation. Uh, uh, so this is what I, you know. What I, I'm gonna play devil's advocate for a second. I agree with everything that you said, but O.J. Simpson out here living the life, right? And he, I mean, he got a Twitter account that's on fire. He on it is what it is. He on it is what it is. He is he's doing all kind of podcasts. And his life is not threatened, and a majority of people believe that he got away with murder. And then there's also, on the flip side, there's a majority of people, too, that don't think he did it by there's himself. Jordan Matiti that don't believe he did it. Uh, yeah, so I think, I think the difference with him is, one, you don't have enough people to say, I was there. I know it was him. Okay. And then the case... He had good lawyers. Great, and, great lawyers. And then the defense's story was kind of like, it wasn't It wasn't as strong as it could have been. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? yeah, yeah. And, and then, you know, during that time yeah. that we were living in the 90s, black, white, at that point in time, we, we never really saw a person of color yes. in a big time crime like this. I get you, I get you. Get off. Get 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 get, 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 get off. off. Get so off. now it it only t it turned from it turned from the actual people dying to it turned into a whole black or white thing. Yeah, it did. You did. know, so so I think with that aspect, it's not different. Someone did die. So in that aspect, it's the same. It's the same. You it's know, same. Yeah, very very so, very true. So. So you're, that's what you're I, yeah. absolutely right. This is a whole racial. Oh yeah, it was a, a whole racial. It. But thing. this man, you killed somebody that the Hispanic community adored, and people, and there was people that saw you. I, it's so it's so big. I went to a Selena tribute concert, and they thought it was her on stage. Man, that's how much love they have for the Selena person that's impersonating Selena because she's so beloved. Man, that's crazy. So they definitely lost um, uh, an amazing person. But I don't know. You say stay in jail. Don't get what do you, out. What do you say? You... I think that she, I think that I'm looking at it from a, a human element of, I don't want to say forgiveness for the people that want to attack me. I'm just mm. saying that here was a person who was already a, older anyway that committed, I believe, a crime out of passion, right? Uh, and she's devastated. I, I'm going to be not part of this great entertainment situation with my friend like to, that I love and I'm you know I'm exiled I'm panicking and I shot the person right mm -hmm. 30 years later what is she gonna do man she's not gonna harm anybody it's not gonna ha hurt anybody and if she stays in jail and leaves jail how much does that affect your life none it, that's my point it's not affecting <laughs> your life the only people that you should consider is the Sel Selena's family how much pain is that gonna cause oh, them yeah. and you oh, need yeah. to hear the family out if there's family yes. that's like, listen, she's been rehabilitated, uh, you know, as hard as it is to forgive her what she did, we forgive her. Keep that. You should consider that. But if consider the family's wishes as well, because she she hurt the family. Man. One last question: You guys gonna watch this uh, documentary on oxygen? I'm, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch the documentary because there's always two sides. I, I want to hear both sides. I want to hear what was her headspace that made her panic like that and kill her. Hmm. You know, very interesting. Very, very it's, interesting. It's absolutely very interesting. So uh, we'll be right back. Uh, this is Terrence Martin. Let's go. Let's go.